Alright, hello everybody, it's me, the Invisible Gunslinger, and I'm sure, I'm absolutely positive that at this point you are not at all sick of I Wanna Be The Bashi Mirrored Mode, because, you know, I haven't uploaded it in, in forever. Yeesh. In case you're watching this in the far future, I, I've been uploading nothing but I Wanna Be The Bashi Mirrored Mode since this project began. I haven't uploaded, like, anything else, and that is only because of the time limit. I am trying to get all of this posted, I am trying to get every single video up, and just, I'm trying to beat the game and have all the videos posted by March 14th. Um, I am not going to be doing like a notification, some people have said, oh, why don't you like put up a video showing like you've done it and you're just going to upload them all later. No, I've worked it out and I think, I'm almost positive that I, could, I can get all of these videos up in the time span, so please, I am very sorry that I have only been uploading I Want to Be the Washing Mirrored Mode. Uh, please wait patiently. Um, if if you're already doing that, good, but if you're sick and you're just like, I've come here to complain, feel free, I'm, I feel bad, but uh, anyway, hello everybody, it's me, the Invisible Gunslinger, and I, this is actually, I don't know how this is going to sound to you guys, um, but for me it sounds pretty much the same. I've actually been doing some major changes in my room, actually, since the last time uh, that I recorded. I've completely moved large pieces pieces of furniture, um, so if, I'm a, if the room is a little bit more echoey, then that's why. If the sound sounds better, then that's why. I don't know. It, it, it sounds a little bit different to me, to my ear, when I'm just talking in my room, so if it's a little bit weirder on recording, I'm sorry. Um, but it's been a very, very exciting time. I've been preparing my room for uh, getting a brand new TV, which has been stressing me out to a nth degree. Just uh, there's so many kinds of televisions and so many sizes, and do you get it mounted to the wall? But then you got to mount it to the wall, and you got to pay for that. And I'm also trying to get a new mattress topper, and do you go with this, that, and the other? And ugh, these major purchases are just grinding away at my patience. Or just, it's not even my patience, I just, I get anxious when I have big purchases like that. I just can't pull the trigger. I know, Gunslinger can't pull the trigger. Just, you get right there and you're like, I'm pretty sure, dude, probably there's not a better deal out there. Yeah, and just, oh, worst feeling in the world. But now, I'm here to play, I want to be the Bashi, to get my minds off the worst feelings in the world, to play the game that gives me the best feeling in the world, that of success. So, let's get in there, let's find this wild Pokemon. Here we go. I am not making any promises tonight, I am quite tired. If I can even beat this boss, I will be astounded. No promises for deaths or whatever. I'm just here to beat it and that's all. Hello, Missing No. Oh, uh, why do I even try? Hmm, I might have to take off my jacket for this. Ooh, he's getting tough now. Ah. Gosh, it feels so, so relaxing to play this, and I'm not saying that ironically. Actually, the last, last couple days at work have been quite taxing. Ah, <sighs> just, I'm sorry. I know a lot of people who are Asian and that are very, very nice, but you get some of these older generation, like first generation immigrant Chinese folks, I'm sorry, they are very frustrating people to accommodate in a work environment. Well, not in a work environment, but like, it's just, you go up to them, hold on, my, I'm struggling, ugh, struggling with my jacket here. You get these older Chinese folks who can't speak English very well, and I'm really trying to accommodate you know, they're, I'm not saying that everybody needs to speak English, of course, but it does make communication very difficult and frustrating, and I would have the same problem no matter what language they're speaking. If they didn't speak English, if they just spoke German or Thai or anything, Swahili, just anything at all, but when I come up to you and I'm showing you a bottle of red wine and a bottle of white wine, they point to the red wine and go, Saida? Cider? Yes, of course. It's apple cider. Of course it is. Here, drink it! Urgh. And you repeat it again and again. You have 30 people to take care of, minimum, and they're all just like, Cider? Cider? It's, it, it is very frustrating. And this particular party that I was at the other day had like, at least 30 kids under the age of six. At least! under the age of six, all running around like it was that, 
they're at some kind of like McDonald's playground theme area where they can just go wild and do whatever they want. And here I am carrying three bowls of piping hot chowder. Ugh. The guy who's leading my team is getting confused on where to go. The, we're running out of food in the kitchen, just... Confusion! Confusion! What is happening to my life? Why? <sighs> you see, you go, through, you go through difficult days at work like that. And I'm sorry, I'm very sorry that I'm ranting and raving here, but... What do you want me to do, rant and rave about this game? Just, I need to get it out there. The world must know that I had a less than good day. It must be annulled for all time. This is totally becoming a blog. It's just a blog with video game footage happening. You know. Aren't you in the know? By the way, I am very sorry that I am not getting very far. Just, it's been a frustrating and irritating couple of days. In fact, today, I really went out... You see, I'm getting into this blog thing pretty well here. I went out looking for a TV, and I'm sorry. There is a very good reason why I do most of my shopping online, and that is because I hate seeing the poor faces of those people who have to, like, really sell stuff on commission. You know, those people whose livelihoods hangs in the balance of them being able to sell you a television or a mattress or what have you. And you just see their desperate faces longing for you to stay in the store. It's like, are you going to buy something? If not, get the heck out of my store because you are worthless to me. We hate you here. And I'm like, I'm sorry. You capitalist pig. Ugh. It just, it gets me all riled up when I have to put them down like that. It's like a dog. A dog trying to sell me a mattress. It's flea-ridden, bitten mattress. Hey! You start talking about flea-bitten dogs, you get past Gust. Very nice. Not Razor Leaf, eh? <laughs> I got past Gust. That's okay. Ooh. But it hasn't all been, uh irritating apple cider folks and blank-eyed stares through shopping convenient clerks eyes it's actually been good the last couple days I got to play this of course what other what other good stuff has been happening to me lately ooh splash that's something good uh, I got a whole bunch I got a ton of comments on that uh, on the one Boshi video where I started talking about bosses and like what's what's your guys favorite bosses I couldn't believe it I was very excited for that who would have thought that people's emotions would run high when it comes to uh, video game bosses not me I never get excited about anything especially not video game bosses especially not video game boss attacks that are very difficult to dodge mind you Yeesh. especially not Oh my gosh. I gotta do it, just for this run, just for this life. Come on, come on Missing No. There we go, getting a little bit, I'm getting, I'm waking up now. Oh, Razor Leaf is like one of the most difficult to dodge, I swear. Cause you have to make that leap of faith and just be like, am I gonna get cut to ribbons or am I not? Uh, now I, I'm pretty sure I actually didn't talk about... Ow. I don't think I talked about some of my favorite video game bosses in the uh, in the episode where I started talking about bosses, and I think I'll do that for this... for this... Uh, for this video, and maybe the next one, while I'm fighting this boss. Uh, and I will take a break, so I can go and look at my little video game collection over there. What is going on? Why can I dodge Gust all of a sudden? That's weird. Uh, I'll go take a pause and look at my video game collection to see... Because I don't have any prepared off the top of my head right now. Ooh! That was... that was something that was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aw, oh, you... you just make all of my accomplishments in life worth nothing. Here! Let's tell you what, let's start talking about Pokemon bosses. Let's talk about the Gym Leaders and Elite Four. Now... The, the Gym Leaders, in my opinion... 
are... It's a very interesting mechanic because going into the gym, you pretty much know what the gym's theme is. You know whether it's going to be electric or psychic or dark or what have you. It's all based around Pokemon type, which I haven't played some of the more recent Pokemon games, but for a long time I've been really wanting them to do like different themes to gyms. Uh, sorry, to gyms. I kind of pronounce that weird. To gyms. If they could do like Oh, I'm the gym leader who only trains in Pokemon who have legs. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean they have to have, you know, fighting type or normal type or whatever. They just have legs or, I don't know, have bad attitudes. This is the bad attitude gym. You know, you come in here, you're going to get, like, Kabutops up your butt. Why can't we have that? Why does it always have to just be, oh, I'm making a team of all water types. It can't possibly lose. Uh, yes it can, silly face. Or why not a gym? I would love to see a gym of just nothing but legendaries. Can't we get, like, a scientist gym leader who's, like, cloned uh, the legendary Pokemon? But this is all, this is all hypotheticals and I wish. Let's talk about what, what they actually have given us in terms of gym leaders. Now, gym leaders are an interesting part of Pokemon because they're pretty much all attitude. In fact, you could argue that most Pokemon battles are just random encounters linked together with attitude. And some, some gym leaders are so much... There's two kinds of satisfying gym fights. There's the satisfying gym leader fights that are satisfying because they're very difficult. I'll throw Whitney's uh, Mill Tank from Pokemon Silver and Gold in there as an example. Um, and then there's satisfying boss fights just to beat the gym leader himself. I'll give an example of Lieutenant Surge from the original, from the original Pokemon. Uh, Lieutenant Surge is a very, ve well. He's satisfying to beat just because you don't have to go through that stupid gym again. My god. That gym is something something else. Just beating that gym, getting to Lieutenant Surge himself, is an accomplishment. Um, the Elite Four themselves. Huge build-up. You went through eight other bosses to get to the Elite Four, and now you gotta do them all in the row. They just... It's a battle royale. You know, if you don't, if you don't have the money, for health potions or revives, you're pretty much done. You better go grind your your butt up, otherwise you ain't getting past us. And even then, we got a whole bunch of different types. You really gotta micromanage your team. You gotta make sure they know all kinds of moves. You gotta just make sure they're super strong. So in that regard, Pokemon does a very, very good job of building up bosses. It's got a lot of tension. But I feel like it's the theme, it's just the gym theme and the element theme that really lets it down for me. Um, but, but you know, back in the day when I was playing it as a kid, I, I enjoyed it. I know some people didn't, but, uh, or got over it quicker than I did, but I, I, I don't really enjoy it nowadays, but I still, I can still look and see how kids would enjoy it. Um, oh, this is where I die. Really? I swear to goodness if you recover. Oh, I swear. No, I don't swear. I don't swear. You see, that's the whole thing about this game is I don't swear because I'm Gunslinger and I have an incredible amount of self-control. Oh, you little tush. Ugh. Talk about wasted energy right there. Here, after I'm gonna do I'm gonna give I'm gonna give it one more attempt and then I'm gonna pause to go and look at my game collection and then I'll uh, I'll pinpoint a boss that I really enjoyed from that game series and I'll talk about it and why I enjoyed it. You see, I think recover is the best move to finish him on. You know, I can I get that? Can I have him use recover as the last like ditch move? That'd be great. 
This better not be the attempt. I'd be really angry because I want to talk about these bosses more. In a boss fight. Come on. Kill me. Stop trying to kill me and kill me. Do it! Do it now!